Hello guys, and um, basically I want to talk about how, since the title says, this is one of the best years of my life. And the reason for that is because of how hard it was. Um, it may have been rough, it may have been probably one of the sickening, most utterly depressing years. But the fact is, we went on what I like to call an adventure of failing. And because we did that, because me and you went on this stupid adventure and we failed multiple times... I feel like it's obviously the best year of my life. Honestly, this is what I want to do. This is the adventure. This is the journey that I've wanted to go on. Um, why this was the best year was basically um, a few years ago, I remember when I first um, I moved back here, um, all the odds were against me because I remember I moved away. Everyone, you know, all my friends here um, in my old home, they hated me. They all, they all didn't really care. So when I did move back, um, I only had a few friends. And the one friend that I did truly have, basically what he did was he, he kind of, you know, he backstabbed me. He um, abandoned me and he betrayed me as a friend. And, um, you know, it's fighting between parents. Uh, my, my channel was failing. And basically, um, you know, my, my grades weren't doing the best because I was stressed as hell. So everything was going to a downhill. And every, I thought everyone hated me. I thought I was so unlucky that it was the end. So what I decided to do was I decided not to give up. And, you know, what I did was I pulled out a notebook and was like, you know, and I was just like, I'm going for it. I'm going all in because you know what? If I, if I give up now, nobody's going to drag me through. And I do in this channel just so I, I can help others, so I can be, be the man that defies destiny, the the pillar for ambition. So what I decided to do is I made literally a list of bucket things. Like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to learn how to do Photoshop. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this many videos. Bam, 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 bam. And a lot of those things I failed at. But I decided that summer, basically last year, was that I was be going. I was going to keep going as a YouTuber. I was going to make it happen. So you know, I get into the school year. Everyone hates me. But what I decided to do was, um, you know, I made the first Lomano.com series, and it went amazing, freaking amazing. Then next after that, what I did was I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to go watch. Um, I'm going to go, you know, see Merg Player. And guess what? That went freaking amazing. You know, I, I may have failed. I may not have seen him actually, like you know, been able to talk to him. But the thing was, I tried. And that's what I thought was amazing. The fact that I kept trying and trying and trying. When people said I couldn't do it, when half the people in my school just laughed at me for being, you know, percent trying to make the impossible happen. When my own parents, you know, don't really think much about it, which I can't blame them. When, you know, just people even watch my videos. It, it maybe even you think it's stupid, you know, me going for this dream which is almost impossible. So what I decided to do after that was, um, you know, I kept making videos. I literally, I would stay up nine day, you know, sometimes without sleep, sometimes without eating, because this is the one thing I had. This one thing I'd hold on to and say it was mine, because I, had, I wanted to help people. I wanted to constantly show that if you want something, if you truly want to symbolize something, if you truly want to like have heart, if you truly want something in life, you can get it. it just depends how bad you, how badly you want it. And I want to show that. I want to show that happiness is something within reach, no matter how hard it is. And, you know, I, I kept going and going and going. And then that's when, basically that year, after, you know, still I was on my own. A few people were just helping me out, and I was just barely pulling through my parents. Um, they're like, okay, you're done. You're done. I, I, we don't want you doing this anymore. I remember it was on a stream, and basically um, they just told me, girl, you're not going to make it. And what they did was they literally um, took away my internet, and they, uh, they just basically stole my computer. Computer I paid for so for basically one fourth of a year I wasn't able to do anything I wasn't able to talk to anyone I wasn't able to do nothing nothing online it was just that's it so all I did really was like I, I was in my basement for the longest time just depressed I remember you know I was staying there like just thinking what do I do I, I just work out and I, I just feel so emotionless and the thing was that spark was still inside the spark that said you know I want to keep doing this I want to keep making videos I want to keep doing this I want to keep making people happy I want to be that still that goofball that you know kept failing and doing stupid crap but you know even though even though I stood for something and that was all I needed all I needed so what I did was you know I just kept writing stuff down I, literally, I remember I literally got 16 notebooks worth of notes and I just got them down YouTube 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 and that's what my made my uh, bulletin board you know up there my little board uh, bu uh, bulletin board and all the plans bam 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 and it, it scared me because the thing that didn't scare me wasn't the fact of failing it was more the fact that what if everyone forgot about me if that happened, then what do I do?
But this was when I found out that... <sighs> There's one day that I remember coming home so depressed. I was like, I'm alone. I, I messed up. Maybe I was wrong about the YouTube. Maybe I thought, you know, people were going to be there for me anywhere. And that's when I came home and I saw something called hashtag one month. Uh, I'm sorry. Hashtag bring blue digit back. And basically it's people just saying how much the you know enjoyed me as a person as a friend their times with me and why I should come back and honestly if I didn't see that I don't think I would have been able to get back up with my feet I don't think I would have been able to pull through I don't think I would have been able to have the heart that I have now to know that people didn't forget about me to think to know that I I wasn't alone So what happened was, you know, I got on uh, the moment I got my computer, the moment I would just pull up the video. I was like, hello, guys. And you know what? We're going to go straight for 2000. So what happened? Bam, 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 bam. Within that first month, we already got about like, I think it was like 300 subscribers just within one month. Highest arc we ever got, you know. Um, and I remember that night, that night when I got back, um, what happened straight up was I, uh, I, I did a live stream for over 30 hours. And people were like, oh, you're not going to do it. You're not going to make it. And guess what? We literally got our goal. We literally made it. You know, even though it was insane, we did it. <laughs> and um, I remember by the end of it, I was feeling so sick that I was like, okay, I'm done. Ugh. But, but we made the impossible happen. Despite everyone's words, we did it. That 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 stands for something. Again, then, you know, I just started making videos again, even though um, it was rough. It was rough. And the biggest thing after that... Because then there's an arc of just, you know, depression and again, you know, things getting harder. And I loved it because I was fighting against it. People were actually there. I actually put up my main, my main, my Discord. And every single time I needed help, people were like, hey, let's do this. And I wasn't alone. And the fact that I wasn't alone, you know, I could just keep climbing and climbing and climbing. And if I fell down, you guys just pick me back up and just, bam, and climb and climb and climbing, you know. And we just go for it. And um, we didn't grow the most, but the thing was, the passion was still there. And that's what mattered. That's what mattered. So then, the biggest thing, hashtag one month, one chance. Um, basically, it was this big um, idea where we would actually do a charity and try to raise a thousand dollars for so-called charity. And I want to do something to end homelessness. I want to try and help that. And you know, we're a small community. We, we barely even had a thousand subscribers. But I thought, if we're going to go and try and do the possible, we might as well start at rock bottom. And you know what? We we actually raised around two hundred dollars when the statistics said we wouldn't even raise up around like fifty dollars. So already we're defying destiny, defying them of telling us what we can and cannot do. We're being a pillar of heroism, just constantly trying, trying, trying. Honestly, I feel like as a channel, you could say that we are the real deal. We're the people that refuse to die. The fact is, that's why I love this. That's why I love this year so much. Because the fact that, you know, constantly I've been told I can't do this. I've been literally pulled away from my dream. You guys keep pulling me back. You guys keep pulling me back. And the more I want, the more I want, the more I scream that I'm not giving up. The more I do this, the more passion that's driven into me. The more happiness I can feel. And for once, I can confidently say I am, I'm not alone. And I'm, I'm ready to fail again and again. And again, and again, and if you know, if I, if I have to do this over and over and over again, if you make that one person in the back seat happy, then so be it. Because then I'll do that. I'll stand for that. Because I want to go on an adventure, an adventure so insane, so stupid that it's impossible. And right when it's that little bit impossible, then you know we'll stack another layer of bricks on top, and then we'll go for it. <laughs> And, you know, if we fail so bit, because, you know, I can promise you, we'll get up again, and again, and again. I'm sick, you pushed me to the button. It feels good to know that I got, in a sense, a family. A family of friends that will be there for me. And even though this video is probably cringy, very cringy, we're fighting against destiny. We are not dead yet. And the fact that we refuse to die, I feel like... I feel like, in a sense, like a really cringy sense, that this is almost like the story of a hero with the superpower to not give up. And that is what I want to symbolize. That if you want happiness, if you want a goal, that just, you can't give up on it. 
And if you have the heart, then the heart's going to stick. It's going to stick with you, and it will fight. So if you have a dream, if you have a goal, <laughs> health. If it's something stupid, I don't care. I just want to make people happy. And that's what I'm fighting to do. I want to show the world that even the stupid YouTuber like me can make a difference. And if you keep knocking at Hell's door, it'll open up. So I'm back. I'm going to try my hardest. I am back. And I'm ready to fail with you guys. And if you're willing to go on an adventure with me, if you're willing to go on this crazy adventure, which we're going, probably going to fail, Destiny's going to knock us over again and again and again. If you're ready to be the underdog of this story, come join me. And let's make the impossible happen. Because remember, we're looking for a future so bright, it's too much for our eyes. We've been beat down so many times that our blood mixes with our sweat. So, I love you guys. Hope you guys are ready for an adventure. And I'll see you guys later. Comment down what you guys think. And remember, let's make the impossible happen. One step at a time. And keep struggling against destiny.